stories that matter most for Fort Lauderdale. This is FTL City News. Hello everyone, I'm Ross Palumbo. A global space tech business just landing here in Fort Lauderdale. They're brand new to us, but you've already seen their work soaring to the stars. Aboard this Blue Origin rocket, William Shatner wore a seatbelt they helped create. So did Richard Branson aboard his Virgin Galactic flight. And the crews aboard all of the SpaceX flights have been wearing their safety harnesses from the beginning. And if Branson, Bezos, and Musk picked you, this must be a great company. So Commissioner Heather Morita is helping to cut the ribbon, welcoming the company Schroth Aerospace to District 1 in the Fort Lauderdale Executive Air Park. This is their new U.S. headquarters for North, Central, and South America, and for Southeast Asia. In this 35,000 square foot facility, they'll make seat belts and safety harnesses for space and airline travel and for the military. We're so excited to have Schroth join us in the aviation and aerospace industry and the economic impact that'll continue to bring to this uh, Fort Lauderdale Executive Air Park, the industrial part of our city that has a $2 billion economic impact to our city. And Schroth, with its safety products and manufacturing, whether it's for planes or space shuttles, will continue to just really put us on the map in the city of Fort Lauderdale. The company is based in Germany and has been a leader in aerospace for 75 years. Now they're bringing 60 new jobs to Fort Lauderdale. Mayor Dean Trentellis also saying the future of tech is in Fort Lauderdale. Trentellis meeting with global IT solutions provider Future Tech, touring their new offices just a few months after they moved here. The mayor saying Fort Lauderdale is quickly becoming the preferred option for new high-tech companies. And I think that having the, the choice it allows people to say, hey, we don't, the option isn't just Miami, or the option just isn't Jacksonville. It, you know, Fort Lauderdale becomes not just the right choice, but the better choice. When Future Tech moved their executive offices here, they brought in 25 more high-value jobs. The mayor also moving to get Broward County on board with the city's choice of a New River rail tunnel. Trentell is speaking with business and civic leaders at the Tower Forum and directly facing FDOT District 4 Secretary Jerry O'Reilly for the first time, urging a new tunnel versus their bridge. Bridges do not connect, they separate. And that's the problem. Let us learn from the mistakes of the past. These are the, the goals I think we can accomplish, and we can accomplish them together. If we work together, I know we can make it happen, right? Earlier, the mayor also attending an FDOT community workshop where the state laid out all of their proposals and took input from the public. There are three bridge proposals, one that would have to be as high as the 17th Street Causeway and more than a mile long. Fort Lauderdale City Commission has unanimously voted to recommend a tunnel under the New River. The Broward County Commission will formally weigh in later this month. Black History Month kicking off a few days ago, and on Tuesday, the city will officially rename part of Davie Boulevard as Reuben Stacy Memorial Boulevard. The signs are already up along Davie from I-95 to US-441. 29-year-old Reuben Stacy was lynched in this area after a white woman alleged he had threatened her life. It was a horrific mob act of racial violence without any legal defense or any trial. Now his family and the community will memorialize his life by renaming this section of road Tuesday at 1 p.m. Also as part of Black History Month, an art exhibition representing themes of equality. It's all happening at the New River Inn and features works from students at the Dillard Center for the Arts. It's a celebration of 60 years of black art going on daily from 10 to 4 p.m. And finally, an invitation from all of us at the city of Fort Lauderdale to all of our neighbors. This huge event is a massive block party where you can meet the mayor and the commissioners and people from every city department to ask questions and see what we're doing for you. There are free giveaways like trees for your home, a raffle, entertainment, refreshments, even a kid zone. So join us from 5.30 until 8 p.m. on Thursday right here at City Hall. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the City News. Don't forget to check us out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And for everything you could ever want to know about the city, just head to our newly redesigned website, fortlauderdale.gov. I'm Russ Palumbo. We'll see you next week.